Um, I don't know. Okay, it's recording. So today I'm going to be showing you some of the secret items you can only get through using commands in creative mode in the Demon Slayer mod. One of which being a very, very overpowered sword. For example, there's a mob or two that you can't spawn, actually, that can't spawn normally because it would be way too overpowered. And that mob is Yurichi. You can actually spawn Yurichi using commands or just using creative mode. And his drops are pretty good. So normally, like, if you ever play the Demon Slayer mod and you activate Red Sword, it just gives you Red Sword too. Yurichi, because they wanted him to be broken in the game, he's just broken. I'm going to be in creative for the testing stuff. You don't want to die that easy. So, I'm going to be here. We're going to grab this sword. You summon, means no yaba. You're reaching. And basically, he takes two sharpness a thousand sword hits. When he collects his loot, you see his sword's enchanted. His sword has red sword level 12. Therefore, making it the most overpowered thing because you can basically grant demons. And if you go into the creative menu and you get look up your Ichi, you grab your Ichi, and you grab, for example, Muzan. Just look at Muzan get wrecked. Fun fact: only way to actually defeat your she is legit by using melee attacks. He can't be defeated by no using any other kind of attack. I found that out. Another thing, there are a bunch of secret like, item stuff that you've probably never seen before. There's Yurichi, which is a secret character that can't spawn normally. Here's his brother, Nijikatsu, the moon breathing guy, who becomes Upper Moon 1. And then there is. You get Guy Stick Senior, then you get a gold ingot. And then you get some blood. There are some secret entities. There's the normal Guy Stick Senior. There's the gold. Guy Stick Senior. There's a one you can only spawn using commands. Super Die Stick Senior. Then there's one. The Demon Die Stick Senior. Who's going to get absolutely good. Super Die Stick Senior. Basically, he can use random breathing techniques without even knowing them. The Demon Dice Stick Senior is pretty powerful. Then you see we have Yachan. You can turn him into a demon by typing, clicking him with a piece of blood. You can do that with his brother. His brother's just a beast unless you have your Richie. And the Dice Stick Seniors. And turn them in either a gold or a demon. Not gonna lie, the demon one is pretty powerful. Not against Yurichi though, nothing really can beat Yurichi. What else is there? Oh, a secret item. And it's sort of also a secret character. Genya. He doesn't really spawn naturally. If he does, you're really lucky. And the secret item that Genya gives us is the Nitrine Sword. Because the I can grab summoning Genya. Grab yourself Genya. You grab your sword, right? You go up to Genya. Crit him. He only drops the pistol. Just looting a thousand. He doesn't drop the sword. If we're making it the most impossible item to get in the entire game.
What else is there? That's almost impossible. That's impossible to get. Uh, Kaane. She appears in Shinobu's memory sometimes. She's Shinobu's older sister. Kocha's little sister, because I can't say it right sometimes. Then there's the secret cherry blossom hairpin. It looks mid. Never the cap. Oh, that's the spoiler boss. I don't even know why he's here. Oh yeah, because he spawned in. You grab the spoiler boss and then you grab your Ichi, right? You give yourself some night vision. You spawn in the spoiler boss and you spawn in your EG. Look how much damage time the spoiler boss. Okay, the Chandra Demon takes. He just gets wrecked. And his spoiler demon art is really powerful, I'm not lying. It's probably more powerful than Luzon's. I can lie about that. That's a pretty powerful blood demon art. Then there's the secret hair ornament, Cherry Blossom. That's a secret item. I have a lot more secret items in the shulker box. Oh yeah. Oh, that's creepy. That just scared the living fuck out of me. There are special custom items. They, they may look like arrows, but trust me, they're not. They're custom things that you see throughout the game. There's nothing here. This is a needle. Tested on. Uh, something. No, sure. I'm gonna test it on Reiji because I can. Mm -hmm. Dig a. All right there. And we're gonna test it on Reiji. So first, the spider. Spider eats himself, so we can't do that. Uh. Grandma's brother. It takes three sweeping edge hits to kill you with a sharpness. So here we have the Gyoko fish. I have to be out of the range because you can accidentally right click him. Poison for a little. And then the needle. Then there's Blue Silver Kaoda Gabriel, which is Akaza's final form ability. It does a pretty decent amount of damage, the icicle. The other icicle does it from like in the skies. Pretty odd. This one is like Rui's sister's blood demon art, and it's the slashing moon. Which obviously upper moon one it uses. There's a really tiny one, and there's this. This is like the disorder, then this spider net is like the spider net, then the slashing net. I'm trying to think if there were more, because I remember one of them I had, like, the flying blood sickles from... Where is that? I can't see it. And this, that... I had that, but it's like one of these things in here. I'm gonna put in some of the stuff that can't spawn. Also, you can actually give yourself custom spawning. Can you know you have a. Still not your own game yet. Look. No spawning. Also no spawn. Before that makes it a secret item. Like Naki Naki heads. Naki head is also 
Rocky's head is a secret item. Yoko to spawn egg. Spawns him in in his second form. I think of more stuff, but what is this? A pan. Some sort of food, isn't it? Yeah, it's food. Let's see. There's the bamboo sword from. If you go here, it will be in the community school thing. And if you cannot get these in survival, blood demon art for its gold bag doesn't do anything at all. Also, something you can only get from creative or really rare drop. Uh, Kiegu. Kiegu? No, this is normal Kiegu. Okay. I don't know if this is an actual drop from Kiegu. What is it with entities being able to take two shots? What is it with entities being able to take just casually two hits? From a shot, it's a thousand sword. One of the secret items, I believe, is the spider head. Is from the Rui father? Yes. Yeah, it's a really rare chance drop, but that doesn't make it impossible to get. What else? Oh yeah, the Yurichi clothes, you cannot physically get that without getting Yurichi. The Zona Syndrome, I don't know. Uh, can you craft it? Nope. You cannot. Oh man. He drops his horns, he drops... Three blood demon art, and he drops his drums thing. Not these. This thing is a secret item. But does it look fresh when you put it on at least? Eh, it looks okay. Therefore, we're making it a secret item since you can't obtain it. Ugh. Give me a sec, I gotta go upstairs so I can get a lap my laptop plugged in. I'm not gonna be posting for a while, so this might be my last video for a good while, because the school is making us turn in our laptops. So my main goal is to just get as much done as I can and also tell you guys that, because I really want to keep recording. Don't know that, but I really can't. If you kill me, Jikatsu. For some reason, he drops the Kokushiro clothes. That's the exact same name. I don't know why. <sighs> the Doma hat. And there's some Yurichiro items. I think I need to get rid of these two items. Basically, really, really hard to get this item. You have to also be really lucky and have high levels of looting. But you can get Ruidro Demon Slayer Mark Hair. It looks meh. It looks mid. But there's a normal one that you cannot get physically. Ruidro Hair. Because the only way you can actually kill them, unless you have a high level, maximum level of sharpness, you cannot get that item. As well as the Kokushibo helmet. This physically the placed it down. So he puts him down. He takes he goes in this form. And that's the only way you can kill him. And it's still a really rare drop for him to drop that head. It's also a really rare drop for him to drop his tentacles. Doma? I'm pretty sure you cannot get the Doma hat. I don't know. Why is it 
What is it with entities and being able to tank hits? Trump hits a thousand swords. But yeah, you can get the dumb hat as a matter of a fact. The thing you cannot get, I believe, is the Yorobi items. Unless you spawn him in using the spawn egg, which you also have to get through from it. Get a photo for commands. They're only available through creative. That's really the only way you can get their special items, like the hand and the wing. And for him. Oh, still, it's a rare drop. I think. Do you drop it or not? I'm using the a thousand. Oh, there we go. The Kokoraka. If you don't, you can't get it actually, because it's not possible unless you use creative mode. I put the hand in the hand. The normal way to show as I did. Yeah, but the normal cook she lights an item you cannot get through this mod. Then there's this one with the fan. That's the only way you can get the fan unless you go to the Infinity Castle. Still, it's a low chance that you find it in the Infinity Castle because you're in the Infinity Castle. I'm gonna get a crafting table real quick so I can craft the extra ones together. So it's not as low as durability. And there's this one which has a spear and the horns. Again, two more items that are secret in the Demon Slayer mod. What else is there that's kind of secret? Um, I'm trying to think. I think you can get a gear throw specifically spawn egg. That first. Another secret item in the game. I didn't even know about this time. Yeah, but I don't think you can drop. Oh, he can. Cool. What are you? So that one was not a secret item, but the Gerto head is. There are multiple Tanjiro heads. I don't know if these are secret items or not. It's just a really rare drop. My favorite one is the Tanjiro head because it's just really cool looking. It also, I believe it's a Nitsu one. In the Nitsu ones, which I think are actual drops. And there's his helmet, which is just odd. And there's the two and Goku heads. Then the first item in the slash give through the thing is the Akaza head. An item you legitimately cannot get because Akaza goes into a second form and loses a head. So, unless you have like sharpness 10,000, I don't think you can get that. It's also a really rare drop, but you can get a boar head, like Enosuke's head. Yeah, it's a rare drop though. I'm currently using looting a thousand, so that's why I got it so quick. Oh, what else is there that's pretty secret about the game? Uh, you cannot get the Tango Mask or the Sabita Mask unless you go to Mount Sigari and you get the... and you find a really rare structure. That's how you get that thing. The Secret Kane Sword. I don't know if I put that in there already. You can get that unless you're in creative. A lot of these are just really cool secret items. 
I'm not even lying about it at this time. They're like really cool items. Okay, tools, food. There's Bento, there's a bunny, there's Sakura Moji, Pancake, Okahai, Rice Dumpling. So I this tea, there's a bunch of other stuff I can't say. If you get a, if you do this, each, you hold it down, projectile. I don't know why. Maybe from that one episode, maybe from that one thing, from one of Zenitsu's memories, but still, it doesn't make sense to me. Another item you cannot get is this, the Dice Stick Senior Item. This one you can get, but it's really weird drop. It is the Vase Item. So I'm not going to count that one, because you can actually get it. All the spawn eggs you can't get normally. There are a couple entities I think you might not be able to get. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm tired. Oh yeah, I forgot. Not gonna know. No, no. <laughs> No, nope, nope, yes, this. This is Akka's in human form. Look at him, moves on blood eventually. You become Akka's. That's kind of a pain to kill him with. Eh. In fact, you cannot get Akasa's head away's appearance unless you get an infinity capsule. Because he commits suicide. There is a another one. There is Rui Human. If you left click on me, automatically comes really. Might need a third choker box for all these secretive items. Oh yeah, if you collect some blood, it moves on. Don't need this. There's some things you probably didn't know about the Demon Slayer mod. If you go up to a Dice Stake Senior, Hanjiro, Rui is a human, or this character. Rui human cannot spawn, naturally. Neither can this guy. Click them, they turn into the Demon form. Bro, we all chill for a second so I can turn him into a demon. There you go, the dice six in your demon. He's kind of suffocating under sunlight, but sure. And then this guy. I'm also gonna have to do this under the sun. I don't know if it works. Uh, sh it did work a while back. The uh, elbows up. Here you go. Bam. 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 I'm trying to think of all the other secretive items. Ew, I don't know. I think it's over with an F. I don't know. I'm looking for it. No, they don't have it. I'm also going to show you how to get to the Infinity Castle. But there's also a secretive item called a car.
in the three dice six years. The golden boar. Chair. Uh, what else is there that's secret about the mod? There's secretly a couple items that I don't think you can find or not. This one is just a real cool item. There's this, 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 and then this. Something that I'm, I'm still trying to find out how to work is the cell destruction. Vision, adaptation, medicine, aging, human return. Of course, you can't, you can't put it on here. You can't do anything to demons with it. I still don't. I don't understand what it is. Now with these three items, if I go here and I do. V4, then you do this command execute in you know about moving castle, and you do run pp your username this, 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 and you do that, you will automatically go over here. There we go. And this is how. Then this is the Infinity Castle. There are lots of different chests. This is where you find the special cushions in these blocks. It's really big. It's extraordinarily big. And this specific building right here is where most of the demons spawn at night. Supposedly, some light can get in here, but the demons don't spawn at night. Demons don't spawn unless it's nighttime. Here we have some fire resistance, some brewing stuff. I'm guessing this is Muzon's like laboratory right here. I don't know everything about this. I legit just found this out the other day. How to get into the Infinity Castle? There's like a bunch of like demon blood in our head. It's very loud. And then there's like a bunch of special blood demon art stuff that you can't get unless you have looting. Try to find it. I cannot find this stupid chest. This is a place where something happens that happens in the manga, so I'm not going to spoil it. Then there's this thing. No troll or not. Now I look really odd because I have horns. I don't know why my friend put me under Dogwater channels, even though we've known each other for like three years, four years. My friend Nitro Gaming or Ollie. For some reason he put me under really bad channels. And really bad content. My content isn't that bad. I get it. My content is bad, but it's not that bad. You don't have to insult me like that. For some reason he decided to insult me like that. Here's where Nakina usually is in the Affinity Castle. Here's where sometimes Upper Moons might eat or something. I legit don't know that much about this. But they don't give details about it in the manga. 
Oh, and then there's this building. Which is just... Something else that happens is, spoiler in the manga, this chest has a bunch of random people in people's head who help create the mod. Or they create her Orca's friend. But we look pretty cool with this stuff on, I feel like. Here we have the Kamari that Susamaru uses. It's explosive. In fact, the day that she met Yaba in episode 1 was also her first time ever meeting Yaba, and she'd just been turned into a demon not that long ago. And here was the horns. I do not have any idea where I'm going, so I'm just going to keep these in spectator fly through. Also, the brand new Minecraft 1.19 update came out finally. It fully came out on um, Bedrock. I'm going to play that later. But I can't record it because I can't record stuff on my game system, which sucks. Again, anything that I do on my game system is like experimenting with the new updates and everything like Philza does with his videos. I broke the Minecraft 1.19 update, I broke the Minecraft 1.18 update, I broke the one. That kind of stuff. And if it and if I sound sick it's because I do not feel good, I have a cold. I just feel really bad. This is another thing. It's the same thing. Cool. There's a lot of the Infinity Castle that I've actually never been in before. Because I've always ended up like dying while trying to do this, or I just got bored and left the world. For some reason, my version of Minecraft Key Launcher is not working. I don't know why. If you want Key Launcher, I will probably put a link down below somewhere. I'm gonna find out how. But yeah, look, look how many demons have already spawned in. There's someone I'm not gonna say because that's a manga spoiler as well. There's a lot of stuff in the Demon Slayer mod that is manga spoilers, but if you're an anime-only fan, do not watch some of my videos, because it has a lot of spoiler stuff in it. And if my voice is really annoying, I've been trying to get a voice changer or something so it doesn't sound as annoying or stupid. Yeah, there's just a bunch of random cool Blood Demon art stuff throughout here. Yeah, the, there's a uh, player head there, villagers, skeleton skulls, someone's head. I do not know who this is, but it's someone's head. I think if I go back up and go over to the moves on the big red blood thing from earlier, that is if I can remember where it is. I have such a bad memory. I'm not even lying, I forgot something that I was doing the other day. And if you guys are wondering why I'm not posting videos, it's because um I'm getting rid of my laptop because the school's making us do that. So I'm probably gonna have to restart most of the Minecraft worlds. And if you're wondering why, like when we start the Demon Slayer SP we don't continue, it's because we forgot the IP because we're brain dead. Me and my friend Nitro Gaming or Ollie as I call him. I call him Nitro Gaming. I have his link on my channel. Uh, I don't know why, but we're both, we both have really, really bad memory. And probably both of us are brain dead. And then here we have, and lag me, a chest with a bunch of people's heads. Unfortunately, their skins don't load. It's lagged way too much. My own comfort. If my videos are so laggy, it's because I haven't been using Optifine and the FPS booster I'm using all the time now. I found out that the FPS booster is probably the best thing for me to use now. I wonder if I can turn on shaders, if I have any shaders. Nope, I don't have any shaders. I have some on my Google Drive, but I'm not going to bother with those right now, because it makes my game lag so much. 
because I'm legit just using a school laptop for this. All these videos, all this Minecraft stuff I've been recording, I've been using a school laptop and an okay recording software. Yeah, there's a bunch of really cool um, stuff throughout the Infinity Castle. And the only way out of it, if you set, if you have set your spawn point there, uh, you're screwed. Like, if you slash spawn point, you cannot get out, even if you keep dying. And the only way out, I'm pretty sure, is death or using the, a command. So the command to get out is execute, run, in, Minecraft overworld, run, pp, username, tab, tab, that, I don't know what that is. And boom, you're back in the overworld. But yeah, that's the video. So thank you for watching, and please subscribe.